Alright, so we're in Prague again and uh, as ever I'm amazed how often um, uh, some names of animals um, are, uh, are actually um, made very very inv inventively in, in, uh, in, um, in Czech. I mean, for example this elephant here is actually a, a shanty in, uh, in in Czech, so if you come across a shanty town, that would actually be an elephant's town. And uh, Yepe is actually the uh, the name for camel, as you can see here. The, uh, this camel, this camel's name is Yepe, um, or, or Jepe, or Jepe, or Jepe. I'm not quite sure exactly what the idea is of that, but if it's Czech, it's Yepe. Um, I'm joking actually, because it's uh, well blowed. Um, is the name of the actual animal and slon is the name of the animal really although uh, when in some cases like hroch for a hippopotamus really Czech manages to um, surprise one with a name which is completely like made up originally and not taken from any others. What I didn't know about camels though is that they've actually some camels at least this one at any rate has actually uh, got very similar eyebrows to me I didn't realize that before um, in fact this one seems to have two sets of eyebrows one just here, like there, and the other set of eyebrows up there, so he's got two sets. Um, so uh, I didn't know that about them, and I didn't know how small ears they had. So um, well, it makes sense, doesn't it? You don't want to have a, a big ear if you're going to be out in the desert getting sand in your ear. It's just having a big ear is going to just pick up sand. If you're as big as a camel, then nothing's going to attack you out there anyway. Nothing can actually live where you live anyway, so there's nothing to attack you, so you don't need to have a a big ear to pick up predators and what have you coming towards you out in the desert because there's nothing else that can actually live in places where you live so so their ears are small and I never really knew that because if ever if you'd asked me to, to actually um, draw a picture of a camel I would probably have drawn a, a camel with big ears like you know like a horse or a goat um, of course llamas do have larger ears don't they they're, they're sort of camel shaped sort of like a bit halfway between a goat and a camel but they have the big ears and I never really focused before on the fact that it's the, the ears that really do it that, that really tell the difference between a oh dear horrible music um, between a camel and a and a, and a, and a llama one of those smaller cam, camel type animals so there we are um, funny sometimes when you think about the way that animals are distributed around the, the world. Some animals you find in uh, in just like Europe and uh, in North America and, and uh, Asia like bears. You don't find really bears in Africa much um, but you do find bears in South America. Um, monkeys you find in just well, I think it's just uh, Asia and South and South America, and also Africa. Apes, they don't appear in South America. Um, but camels appear in Asia and Africa on the one hand, the old style camel, and you've got these llama, modern style, new style sort of like miniaturised camels, llamas and and uh, Guantanamo bays and. Uh, and uh, vicunias and what have you, they appear uh, more in the, um, well they appear exclusively to my knowledge in South America so uh, you know I can't really unravel why that is in my head because I know that sometimes you know people say, people that believe in evolution say that a uh, long long time ago um, that continents were together and then they drifted apart and they, they, they come together and come apart in different ways and you've got this business where well, we've got the police in action here um, you've got the situation where um, one of them's learning to write on that guy's bumper um, you've got the situation where opossums are in America and Australia so obviously that was together and then came apart uh, according to you know this zoo geographical so-called evidence for evolution and then uh, on the other hand you've got camels in Africa and 
and uh, and South America. So that must have been together and then came apart. So you know, it seems to me as though you get all different combinations, um, and there's no easy answer to it um, as to how uh, how these things are developed over time in different places. Um, it's not a straightforward thing at all, in my view. And Anybody who thinks it is can kindly explain it in the comments area below.